Sorosis Mini 3 CES device. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Sorosis Mini 3 CES device. Now, for me, I am really all about natural things. This is a natural way to help your sleep. I've kind of been on my own little journey trying to maximize my own personal sleep. I put ocean waves on, I put lavender into the air, I try a lot of supplements, so I'm always looking for some natural way to improve my sleep. And this one actually has a lot of great benefits. I think they've actually done studies. The Russians studied it at one point and they called it something else. Now it's called a CES device. So when I looked it up online, there's several different kind of forms of CES device. You basically, you have this unit right here and you could turn it on. I don't think I've really ever charged it the whole time. So anyways, you hit the power button there and then it's really simple. You set your duration for like 20, 40, 60 minutes. I think it just turns off once it hits that. So you don't have to worry about leaving it on all night. I barely ever charge this and this has three out of five left. So it has a really good charge. You don't need to charge it very much. And then you have this like plus and minus on the side and that basically turns up the intensity. Several different brands do it different ways. Some people even say you're supposed to put like saline on there or something, but essentially you just like plug it in and then you put it on your ear and you turn it on. There's like a little rubber thing in this one. It's like right up in there. I don't know if I'm focusing, but there's a little rubber thing in there and the rubber thing is actually gone. And this one, it's a very, very small little piece, but I don't think this will work without that rubber thing in there. But I have had seven days and I got some pretty positive results so far. I'm not really sure on the price. I'm guessing about $150, but if you could sleep better every night, that might be worth $150, I don't know. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this device. The pros is, it's ease of use, it's just really simple, it's really portable, it stays charged. It is just really, really easy to use and it's really portable. Another pro is that it is all natural. I'm all about things that are all natural and I like that about this device. Okay, it works pretty well for REM or deep sleep. Now, when they sent this to me, they recommended having like a sleep app or something, monitor my sleep so I could see that how much it improves my sleep and improves my REM, but I really don't like sleeping with any sort of electronics on me. That's just like a personal thing with me. But I will say the very first time that I used this, I felt completely great. I don't know if you guys have had, you know, you go to sleep, you're kind of worrying about something and then sometimes you wake up really, really refreshed and it's almost like in your dream, you, you were doing things for like eight hours to the point where when you come out of it, the problems that you went to sleep with yesterday seem just so far away. You know, that's what I got the very first night with this. In the middle of my testing, I didn't have bad sleep, but I didn't have that noticeably good sleep like I had the very first day. But on the last couple of days of me taking this, I did notice I felt really, really good in the morning. And I did get a little bit of that extra good feel from this. So the times that I take it, I either had average sleep or above average sleep. I really do think it helps REM. I almost didn't think this was gonna actually make me tired and drowsy. I think it was just something to where if you use it before bed, you'll just somehow enter like a deeper REM. But once I got used to it, you know, you start off on like the five intensity. And actually the five intensity was noticeable. I did not want to go higher for like maybe two or three days. Then somehow I just got really used to it. And I went up to like 40, you know, ish, I would say that was kind of where I was going. And I actually did feel a little bit more relaxed. So maybe you have to kind of work your way up to like a higher intensity and you get more of that relaxing feel. But the times I did use it at a low intensity, I did have really good sleep as well. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this device. The cons are, it is pricey, you know, it's not something that's gonna be like 50 bucks. It almost feels like it should be like 50 bucks, but all the devices I've seen are like 150 or 200. So it is a little bit pricey, but at the same time, if you get better sleep every night, personally, I think that's worth it. I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but I so far have had really good sleep with it and I just would need probably another week or two to just cement my opinion of, of how much I absolutely love this device. And the only other con I could really think of was that it was a little weird at first. I would feel the, the little electricity at like 5%. You know, it almost feels like the smallest little bit of a prick or a jolt. People know what electricity feels like. It was slightly, 
slightly uncomfortable, but then later on, I didn't mind it whatsoever. And I was sometimes was like struggling to even feel it around 30 to 40%. But those are the only two cons for me. I recommend this for somebody who has a decent amount of money and is really, really interested in improving their REM sleep and just getting more out of their sleep. I really felt like this was effective and it's kind of nice because I think that intermittent fasting kind of helps me sleep, but then I would like to take sleep supplements too. But when I take the sleep supplements, it messes up the intermittent fasting because I have to digest it all night. So this is something I can basically keep the intermittent fasting and still get some of that relaxing feel and, and a really good night's sleep. So anyways, guys, let me know if you've tried a CES device. This is definitely my first time hearing them. Although apparently they go back to like the 50s or 60s. It's an older technology. So let me know what you think of CES devices. Let me know if you're interested in it down below. I'll be very interested to see your feedback. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.